Good morning. Welcome to day 13. Walking up to get some bread and then uh, gonna head out on our little adventure today. So it should be cool. All right, guys, I got the bread. I got a little croissant too. It looked pretty good. We're heading to the metro now and then we're gonna catch a train. We're going to Versailles today. It's the one big thing we're doing. I don't really know a whole lot about it, so it'll be interesting to go see it. I know it's this big like house or palace or whatever, a bunch of artwork and just fancy stuff. And, but I don't really know much more. So I'm gonna find out what it's all about. I'm excited for it. <laughs> epic, super epic, man. Waiting on the train. It comes in five minutes, so we're just chilling. I hope we get some good seats, man. On the train, you know, it's the little things in life that matter. Like some good seats for 20 minutes, but we'll see what happens. Whoa, that goes way up. Train is surprisingly empty. Pretty cool. And it's actually nice and cool in here. It's not super warm or hot. So, pretty nice train ride. Almost to Versailles, about five or ten more minutes probably. And then we gotta walk like 20 minutes, but it should be cool to see new locations and stuff. It's always cool like exploring a new area. Alright, so we made it to Versailles. I'm just walking up to the chateau. Pretty cool little town here. I like it, it looks pretty clean. Gotta love the fruit stands, man. Always love the fruit. Epic. Watch out for the pedestrians! Don't throw them to me! So we're walking up to the chateau now, or palace, or whatever you want to call it. Looks bigger than a chateau, if that means house. It looks pretty, it looks like a ginormous, it looks like 11 million houses. And good thing we bought tickets ahead of time because the line here, over here, it's just incredible. Hundreds, hundreds of people. Like, we would never get in. We got the time tickets, we get to get in at 10 a.m., so should be pretty short, pretty quick, compared to that. So after all those rooms of paintings, you end up in this epic open room and it's kind of a gift shop. We can't escape gift shops, so here we are. All these people are trying to get a photo of that room. Unreal.
point. There's just a limit to how much gold and opulence you want to see. It's just like, we get it, you're rich. Yeah. It starts getting repetitive, a little old, and the crowds just make it like, yeah. this room is empty. This is the best room so far. No, I don't think so, but it's a nice break from everything. We haven't seen the gardens yet, though. Versailles was just so crowded that if it was less crowded, it would be, it'd be a lot better. Back in another gift shop, looking at stuff. Yeah, the gardens are definitely better than the house, maybe. Just because there's less people, it's more wide open. It's, you know, it's just a different experience. Looking for stuff to paint eventually. All right, well, lunch, we just had lunch. It wasn't very epic. We should have just drank some smoothies and ate our macaroons or something, but it gave us some time to rest. Yeah, probably the worst food of the trip thus far. Yeah, you know those plastic Fisher Price pieces you get when you're a little <laughs> kid? You have like the whole little plastic kitchen? Yeah. I those think. tasted better. Maybe. At least what we had at lunch was edible, just barely. But anyway, we're heading through the gardens now. Supposedly, this little whole garden thing to walk through, they give you a little trail to walk through, it takes two hours. <laughs> I've been walking around the garden for a while. Haven't found anything really worth painting yet. It's a few cool things, but nothing I could really paint or worth painting. And I don't know, we're kind of over this place. We're about done. Okay, I want to slide the French Revolution people here because this place is way too opulent. And just, uh, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, chop off their head. I'm cool with it. Okay. All right, well, Versailles has been pretty cool, kind of cool. But I realized we probably should have stayed in Paris and just did a few things in Paris, stuff closer to us, but we kind of planned the trip. We planned Versailles, you know, months ago when we were planning the trip. We thought, oh, we'll go to Versailles. Sounds cool, historical, you know, epic place, but it's just so vast. It's so big, and with it being sunny and hot and stuff, it's just so much walking. It's just... Not too epic. All right, it's been good. Not great, but it's been good. It's time to head out, man. Walking back. Well, walking back to the train, then we're gonna get on a train back. <laughs> That'd be a long walk. We just got back a little while ago. Kind of been hanging out. My girlfriend's taking a nap. And I'm heading out to find a painting spot, something to paint. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, so we'll see what I can find. I'm just going to find something close that I can walk to. I'm not going to ride the metro or anything, so let's do it. I have one idea for a painting. It's these blue doors, like architectural, but really like ultramarine type phthalo blue doors. I think I'm going to do these doors just because I know it's close. I might do another building though. I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do these doors though, so let's walk there. Let's do it. There's a cool little shop. I didn't see this one. It's right down the road. Alright, cool. So I just got some bananas at this little natural store. It's actually right near, right next to the Front Prix we've been going to. So here are these blue doors behind me. These are the ones I was talking about painting. I don't know, I'm debating it because it's all in shadow, but I really like the architecture and stuff around it. So I like these buildings back here with the domes on the top, but I'm not sure I can realistically simplify them enough or get them to fit on the page. So yeah, that was the other thing. And plus, 
Those are in sunlight, but now there's a cloud, so the sunlight faded. So the sunlight would be fading in and out if I did something in the sun, so... And now the sun came back on them, they look pretty epic. Alright, so I just tried pencil sketching that, and as epic as it is, it's just too complex. Even simplifying it, it's just... Choice has been made for me, I'm gonna go do these blue doors. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how that came out. It was pretty challenging being all in shadow and reflected light and stuff. But uh, it was pretty cool getting out and just painting on the street, a lot of people walking by and stuff and just being comfortable with people watching me and pain and stuff like that and it's cool just being in a different country, different environments and uh, man, it's just an amazing experience. I had to go wake up my girlfriend now. We're going to head back to the river. I might do a sketch there. All right, guys, I recharged a little bit, and uh, it turns out my girlfriend's not going to come out. She's just way too tired, and we have a lot to do before we fly out tomorrow. That's right, tonight's our last night in Paris, flying out uh, tomorrow afternoon. If all goes well, this is my last sketch in my sketchbook. I'm going to fill it up tonight, so I'm heading to the river, fill up the sketchbook, do the last sketch in Paris, last sketch of my European trip here through England and Paris. And I'm excited, man. This is cool. It's uh, really cool. It's funny, with vlogging, I've gotten so much more comfortable vlogging in the city now. But I wonder how it's going to be when I return back to my hometown in Davis. I might be... I don't know. We'll have to see how what happens. But out here, I'm kind of like... I'm over people looking at me a little bit. For the most part. So that's cool. I think I might set up on the bridge. Get an epic view over this bridge. Check it out. Pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna sit on this bench here and do it. I get a pretty good view. That's my eye level, so let's do it. guys so the sun just set just finished my sketch came out pretty well I'm happy with how it came out you know not perfect but I captured the moment the sun's gone so pretty cool pretty epic I'm digging Paris it's nice man it's really cool. It's been a really fun time here, man. It's been great. It'll be cool to come back one day, that's for sure, and get used to a different area. What's going on, folks? I'm back here at the apartment now. Let's talk about these sketches I did today and wrap this little video up. So this one came out pretty well, I think. It was the blue doors. I just love the architecture. Just wanted to capture, you know, something unique in Paris that I felt was unique and something I really liked. And just the color of these doors, we walked by them several times and I always kept looking at them and pointing them out. So I decided to capture them. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a cool addition to this whole little sketchbook. The Seine River or Seine River. Not really sure how to say it, how to pronounce it, unfortunately. By the time I, I finished this, the light was gone. So I uh, did the best I could with this, capturing it. Notre Dame Cathedral back here in the background. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, the bridge probably could have been a slight bit darker, but I didn't want to darken things a little, you know, too much. So I was trying to keep that opacity with the watercolor. You know, I got a little opaque over here. But other than that, I mean, it's really cool. Some other little dome building here, structure, and another kind of steeple in the background there. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy with how it came out. And there's a lot of memories of walking across this bridge and seeing this view, so... You know, it means these sketches mean a lot more to me than just the sketch itself. It's it's kind of a memory uh, to look back on and to remember. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's been a really great time here in, in Paris. Great vacation through England and driving and just everything, seeing everything. It's been unbelievable, but unfortunately, tomorrow we're heading back to the airport, back to California, back to regular life. So <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Probably be depressed for a day or two. <laughs> But uh, no, I'm just kidding. It'll be fine. But, you know, 
getting back to see Kitty should be cool. Anyway, let me let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click the little bell icon to be notified to be notified for future episodes. I'd appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Peace. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Peace.